Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the two playing games for the Nintendo Wii. The first one, Planes, is average good. The story mode consists of 7 mini campaigns where you play the short stories of 7 planes and prepare for a good time. The game is cozy and fun, you get many colorful locations and with the nice controls and gameplay, this game will make you feel good. Oh, and this game isn't for hardcore gamers. It's really, really easy to beat. You can crash into stuff like an idiot and still beat the game. Don't Just don't forget that Planes is a kid's game. But a kid's game that can get enjoyable for adults too, if you don't have that many expectations, or if your expectations aren't, aren't that high. You will fly through hoops, taxi vehicles around while doing flips, carry many sorts of weapons to fix stuff, you can shoot with your plane, and you can even have a racing game in the sky with power-ups and stuff like like some sort of Mario Kart but in the sky and with planes. Anyway, the objectives are diverse, but even so, they feel the same at one point and start to feel shallow. But for a kids game, and especially as a tie-in game, it's a pretty good one. The controls are weird at first, but after you get used to them, they are pretty cool. Sometimes it feels like you are holding a paper airplane in your hand, and they are tight and fun. It's easy to control the planes in this fashion, but the downside is that each plane controls the same. It's fun how they control, though it would have added more depth to the game if each plane was a tiny bit different in terms of controls. Visually, I consider the game a feast. It's colorful, jolly, really detailed for a Wii game, and well, the game gives you a nice cozy feeling when you play. I like the game. It's average to mediocre for a normal game. But it's an awesome kids game, and a pretty good tie-in game. Planes Fire and Rescue is a disappointment, and it makes the first game look like a masterpiece. The first game was inventive, with its great controls and nice fast-paced gameplay. This one, Fire and Rescue, is slow, and it feels generic. The missions are short and boring, having nothing that will make you want to play more. And over the boring gameplay come some ugly controls. You move around with the nunchuck, but the controls feel slow and it feels like you don't have enough control of the planes. Also the camera is too zoomed in and it makes it difficult in some missions to view your objectives. Also when you want to gather water for example you completely lose control of the plane. The mission objectives are dull. To give you some examples, you will have to fill some water tanks or to extinguish some trees that are made out of cardboard. The game is dull, with some controls that are close to being bad and some gameplay that feels so generic, repetitive and dull that after only 10 minutes of gameplay, you're already fed up by the game. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.